Donald Trump threw his weight around for Israel like a loyal servant to them uh, at the State of the Union. Of course, Democrats haven't capitalized on this because uh, they're so caught up with Russia. But take a look and then we'll discuss. Last month, I also took an action endorsed unanimously by the U.S. Senate just months before. I recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Shortly afterwards, dozens of countries voted in the United Nations General Assembly against America's sovereign right to make this decision. In 2016, American taxpayers generously sent those same countries more than $20 billion in aid. That is why tonight I am asking Congress to pass legislation to help ensure American foreign assistance dollars always serve American interests and only go to friends of America, not enemies of America. Now, this is maddening to me because um, with a bunch of the leaks out of the administration, we learned some pretty damning things. So if you want to talk about collusion, let's talk about collusion. Jared Kushner has taken millions of dollars from Israeli banks. Not only that, but Flynn was directly involved with Israel as well, Michael Flynn. Uh, and we learned that when Donald Trump was president-elect, Israel was in direct contact with Trump's administration, and they told them, you're going to go to the UN, you're going to call the different countries, and you're going to tell them to oppose the resolution condemning our illegal settlements. And you know what they did? Exactly that. By the way, they, you're not even allowed to do that when you're president-elect, apparently. Uh, you could do it when you're president. You can't do it when you're president-elect. But that's what happened. The Trump administration tried to get in contact with a bunch of different countries at the UN and tell them, don't vote, don't condemn Israel for their illegal settlements. Don't do it. So let me get this straight. We have the administration and different members of the administration taking money from a foreign government and then doing policy favors for them. That sounds like collusion to me, and that sounds like an open and shut case where all the evidence is there, whereas on the Russia front, they don't even have the evidence there, but all day long, collusion, 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 collusion. He's doing the bidding of a foreign government. Ah! Well, we know as a matter of fact they did the bidding of a foreign government when it was Israel. And what's the response from everybody? Shh. Not a peep from anybody, not a peep from the media, not a peep from the Democrats. Why? Well, Israel's our ally. So even though they're an illegal occupier and they do permanent apartheid and they're brazenly disregarding international law and they're a criminal rogue terror state, shh, they're our ally. They get to do whatever they want. So when you have collusion between those two governments, the Trump administration being a puppet to Israel, that doesn't, nobody even talks about that. They're still chasing their own tail with their head up their own ass on the Russia front. So I haven't heard anybody talk about collusion. Um, and I haven't heard anybody say that Trump's a puppet and he's a loyal servant to Israel. And look at his comments there. He's threatening the world. Hey, if you don't do our bidding on Israel, we're, we're doing Israel's bidding too. If you don't do Israel's bidding, well, then you're, we're going to cut you off. You're going to get no help from us. You're not even really our ally anymore. Imagine he did that about Russia. Imagine he did that about Russia. Hey, if you don't do... Russia's bidding on the issue of Crimea, we're not going to, the U.S. is done with you. We're not going to give you any aid. You're probably not even our ally anymore. So I'm just, I'm just letting everybody know. They would immediately go, that's it. That's it. Smoking gun. That's it. Collusion proven. Uh, traitor. Lock him up. Treason. Nobody says that with Israel. Nobody dares say that with Israel. Even though all the evidence is there when it comes to Israel, where the evidence is flimsy as fuck when it comes to Russia. So this is why, you know, people, some people are still to this day like, I don't get it. Why, is, why does Kyle go through the Israel stuff with a fine-tooth comb? And why is he skeptical of many aspects of it? I'm skeptical because these people who say they care most about collusion and they care about, you know, you don't want somebody being a puppet to a foreign government. Well, Trump already did that and they don't care. They don't care. Because it's not really about that. It's not about the principle of the thing. It's not about we are of a principled opposition to collusion. Principled opposition to corruption. They don't have that. If that was the case, they would have railed against the Goldman Sachs picks. They didn't. They would have railed against the fact that Trump owes over $100 million to Deutsche Bank. They didn't. So, 
it's so there's some other motivation. What's the motivation? Well, they think Russia gave the DNC emails to WikiLeaks and therefore Russia is responsible for Hillary losing. So that's why we're going to focus on Russia endlessly, even though collusion is proven with Israel. And by the way, with Saudi Arabia, which we won't even get into right now. Um, but the final point I want to make here is. He's talking about threatening billions of aid. Billions of dollars worth of aid to our allies. You know whose aid he's not threatening? Israel. He's not threatening. Israel, we give billions of dollars a year. And they have universal health care. We don't. We give them billions and they have universal health care and we don't. He's not saying maybe we cut off Israel's aid. He's saying maybe we cut off everybody's aid if they snub Israel. Again, look at that servile fealty, loyalty. It's gross. It's gross because you're a puppet. You're a puppet. That's what you are. And dis totally disregarding international law too, by the way. Mr. Law and Order is threatening the rest of the world like a thug. That's what he's doing. Because, by the way, that vote at the UN, overwhelming. Oh, it was almost every other country on the planet against the US and Israel. Almost every other country. But he's they're threatening them. Threatening the rest of the world like th like we're thugs. Again, imagine he did that for Russia. What the headlines would be. But for Israel, nobody even talks about it. Which is fucking maddening. It's maddening. So get your head out of your ass and stop buying establishment bullshit. Look at the real facts and what's actually going on.